Hi and welcome to lesson 17.2 where we're going to determine slope and the y-intercept of a line. Okay. And uh, we're going to investigate, okay, what is the slope and y-intercept stuff? The graph of every non-vertical line, so non-vertical, vertical it means straight up and down, so non-vertical, so it can't be straight up and down. Okay, it crosses uh, the y-axis, and the y-intercept is the y-coordinate of the point where the graph intersects the y-axis. Uh, the x-coordinate of this point is always zero. So I'd like to share something right here. So what I'm talking about is the y-intercept is that point right there. It's where the line, the blue line, crosses the y-axis, and they're saying here the x uh, coordinate of this point is always zero and think so that's remember x and then y and that's zero and if you look anywhere on here if i go to this point right here the point of that is zero two the point of this uh, the coordinates of this point here are zero eight there's always zero for the x coordinate and that's an important idea so we have the graph represents a linear equation, negative 2 thirds x plus 4. Okay, find the slope of the line. Well, the slope you should know is the rise over the run. We could take a look at this and we can see that the rise here is negative. It goes down from left to right. And the slope here is the rise. So how far do you go straight down? Well, it looks like we go straight down too. And I represent that as negative 2. And how and then the run is how far do we go straight to the side and we go to the straight to the side one two three negative two thirds see there you go negative two thirds but we can also see it as the um, what this is uh, uh, y sub two minus y sub one over x sub two minus x sub one and you see the six minus four six minus four over uh, negative three minus zero negative 3 minus 0. And when you do all this math, you end up with the same slope. So there's two different ways of getting it, looking at the graph or subtracting the y values over the x values. Uh, so the line also contains the point 6, 0. What is the slope using 0, 4, uh, 6, 0, and whatnot? So if we, so they're saying that 6, 0 is also one of these points, 6, 0. Uh, what negative three six negative three six yeah uh-huh and what do you notice well it's all the same slope see what I could do is I could say okay fine uh, let me bring this in here so I have uh, from here to here the slope is down one two three four so now I'm going down four and I'm going to the right one two three four five six well notice that negative two-thirds and I'll, uh, I'll write that here. Negative 2 thirds is equal to negative 4 over 6. Isn't that fascinating? Negative 2 thirds is equal to negative 4, 6. We know that, we knew that, the, and this is a uh, two equal fractions right here. So that, that's, that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, you stay on the same line if you do something that's proportional. Now, uh, compare your answers so the slope uh, negative two-thirds is the coefficient. Remember the coefficient is that number in front of the x. So the coefficient right here is negative two-thirds right there. All right, uh, coefficient. C-O-E-F-F-I-C-I-E-N-T. Coefficient. Little arrow to that. That is an arrow right there. Um, okay. Uh, the variable, yeah, there we go. So it's uh, there it is. Okay, uh, find the value when y is zero, uh, when x is zero, find the value of y when x is zero. So we'll plug in zero for that. And we, uh, what, negative two thirds times zero is zero. So that would be zero. And so y would equal four. And so that's why it's four. And zero, four is where the line intersects the y-axis. Remember, zero, zero right there. So that's the y-intercept right there. And we're going to come across some important discoveries here. Compare your answers. So in step four, 
uh, with the equation. So the number 4 is the same as the number that is added to the x term in the equation. So this right here ended up being that y-intercept. Okay, so what do we have here? We have this. And this is our major idea. So this is called y equals mx plus b. It's super popular in all algebra classes and such. Where, where this is called the slope-intercept form. So this right here, slope-intercept form. I love me some slope-intercept form. Where m is the slope. It's the coefficient of x. And b is the y-intercept, which is the constant at the end of the equation. And using this, we can easily graph equations. So here, a linear relationship has a constant rate of change. You can find the rate of change, which is m, and the initial value b for a linear situation from a table of values. Let's come across a, a situation, uh, an example. A phone salesperson is paid a minimum weekly salary and a commission for each phone sold. Uh, confirm the relationship is linear and give constant rate of change and initial value. So. Here are the values, and this is how much she's paid. So uh, we see if we subtract the y values, subtract the y values right there, over subtract the x values, the x values, we get 15. Subtract these, so subtract these over these, and you get 15. Subtract these values over these values, which is done right here, and you still get 15. So it's a constant rate of change. The change in y over the change in x is the same. You go up 15 and over 1. Okay. 15. Done. Salesperson receives 15. So what this means is the salesperson receives $15 commission on each phone sold. So it would be something like this, uh, 15 over 1. So $15 per phone sold. Say 15 is equal to 15 over 1. Uh, so we will find the initial value. So we're trying to work backwards now. If we have, if we turn this into a different looking table, so 10, 480, 20, 630, and so on, 10, 480, and 2630. We can see that as we go back 10, uh, 10 phones sold, we also go back 150 each time. So if we go back 10 again, that's zero phones sold. And if we go back 150, that means it's $330. That means if the salesperson sells zero phones, that person gets sold gets paid $330, which means that is the weekly salary right there. You sell nothing, you still get $330, but once you sell stuff, you get $150, uh, you get $15 for each phone that you sell. So there you go, initial value is $330. Uh, there it is, before commissions. So we have this here. And you're asked to find the slope and the y-intercept of the line represented by each table. And that's what I got going on here. So I'm going to go, I, I have this ta these table of values um, here, and I want to show you. Same table of values. I have uh, x and y, x and y, x and y. And I'm going to find the slope. So the slope is the change in y over the change in x, rise over run. And I took what these two and subtracted them. Oh, so the change in y, okay, over the change in x, change in x. And I ended up subtracting them. 10 over 2 is the same thing as 5 over 1, and 5 divided by 1 is 5. And then I found the initial value. So I, if, I go, if I go back to... That means I have to go back, uh, what, 10. And that's what this is telling me right here. If I go back 2 on the x, I go back 10 on the y. And that's what I did over here. I went back 2 on the x. So I subtracted 2 on the x, and that's 0. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. And I have to subtract 10 on the y, so I subtract 10 on the y. So that means uh, 12 is our y-intercept. And that's what I have going right here. 
the slope is 5 and the y-intercept or b in our y equals mx plus b is 12. And I have the uh, the next one right here. The next one, number 2, 1a, 215, 322, and 429. I have that over here. I have that written out right here. Same table of values. And I find the change in y over the change in x uh, in each case. So the change, you know what? I just did it with 1 because I figure it's going to be the same throughout. So the change in y is 15 minus 8 over the change in x is 2 minus 1. And when I do this, well, that's going to be 7, and this is going to be 1, and 7 divided by 1 is 7. Okay. Uh, then I notice that if I subtract 1 here, I have to subtract 7. Yeah, and that's, that's what I see right here as well. That's what that's telling me. So if I subtract 1 here, I have to subtract 7. So to find what x equals 0 is over here, I have to subtract 1 again, and then I have to subtract 7 again. So with the x value, I subtracted 1. I have the 0. Okay, that's what I'm looking for right there. What is the y value when x is 0? Uh, well, the y value is 1, and there it is. So that's how I get this right here. The slope is 7, and the y-intercept is 1. And that is all I have to say about slope and y-intercept. We're going to be practicing a whole bunch of this. This is a very powerful equation that we will use over and over again. And that's what you got to know about the determining slope and y-intercept of a non-proportional relationship. Thanks for watching.